Thank you for calling SB Medical. This is Jenny. How can I help you? Thank you for calling SB Medical. This is Jenny. How can I help you? Hello? 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 What's up, guys? I hope you're all doing okay and lumalaban sa mga hamon ng buhay. Da. Laban lang kita, guys. Mahalag po, Bri. Basta gwapa. Hi everyone! It's me, Jenny Fat. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So, for today's video, I am going to show you how to earn bisag na araka sa balay. Yes, you heard it right. It's a work from home opportunity so daily nation networking, guys. So, it's super nice and super legit. I would just like to remind all of you that working at home is not for everyone. Right? Na may mga skill set na be required in order for you to start a home based career. Like, for example, dapat um, you know how to speak English. Um, sa dili fluent, pero at least conversational. And also, kinahanglan sa nga computer literate ka. Kay magamit mo sa computer sa pagpapanabaho, di ba? Kaayo. And then most importantly, dapat fast learner ka. Kay puwan puwan, if mahar ka ni client, naman siya mga tools na provide in order for you to perform your task. So, technically speaking, mas na ajay advantage ang naka work na sa BPO industry. But if you're someone no lap by work experience, but you have the skill set that I mentioned earlier, then pwede ka sa beginning opportunity mo. Kaya, good luck, guys! Kaya kaya niya yan. Anyway, I know you're very anxious na dun, so I'm gonna tell you the things that you need to prepare in order for you to start your home based career. So, first things first, you need to prepare yourself. Okay? You need to ask yourself, ready na budget ka ha kung to start a home based career? Because, to tell you honestly, guys, it's so different. Dun. Like, for example, you will be working on your own. So, literal na siya, guys. Virtual gita nan din he. Wala jud kayo makablit if you need anything. Like, naatinood kay workmates, but they're not with you, yud. Nga makablit na bitaw ni sila. Makablit na mo sila whenever you need them. So, yeah, you need to consider that. And, you will be working in the wee hours of the night. So, yung mga housemates na natulog na, and ikaw, Tukaw or gihapon na kasi yung mga laptop kayo babad ka ka and then si kasi yung mga trabaho. So, keeping yourself alive, awake, and kicking is one challenge that you need to overcome if you want to be successful. But on the other hand, lang ira dyan mo work sa balay, guys. Especially for a mom like me. Kay, maka-atingan dyan sa mga kasi yung kasi yung mga very rigid. And also, dilit na kang please Mm, di na maglibog yung muhang utok mo sa yung isulog sa work. And unay na kay ka sa kaon, kay naara ka sa balay. So, in short, mas makasay yung dyan taari. Okay. So, other things that you need to prepare is your equipment. And that includes your laptop or computer, a headset or an external mic. So, guys, bisan pag non-voice ang inyong applyan, kinahanglan di hapon na ang may headset. Kay from time to time, Makin video call mo na si client, so you better be ready with a headset. And most importantly, kinahanglan just mo stable internet connection. So in my case, I'm using Glowplan 1599 and naasad ko'y backup na PLDT home Wi-Fi just in case makinabu ang si Glow. Okay, so now that your equipment is all set and hugot na jud ang imuhang decision that you wanna work from home, so you might wanna ask. What's next? Okay, so you need to prepare your makabungo ng resume o cover letter, guys. And if you have an online portfolio, mas maayo jud gani. Kay lami jud din na atay lami ng resume o cover letter kay lindut ka e na para sa mga clients and candidates for interview jud kada yun. Ikaw na jud. By the way, if you want a separate video on how to create a catchy resume and cover letter, just comment down below. Okay? 
Now, you have to make sure that you have a working email address. Kay mo na siya ang ato ang gamitan in sending out applications. So, for starters, we'll go ahead and visit Craigslist. So, just go to Google and type in Craigslist Manila or Craigslist Cebu. Either way is okay. So, Aris ito sa Craigslist Manila. And then, ang categories guys, na siya din ni kanina part, no? Under jobs. So, in my case, pwede kong mo-apply aning admin or office, customer service, pwede sa ko sa art, media and design, sa real estate or sa sales. Okay, mauma na siya ang skillset niya na ako karoon. So, kay love man mo guys, I will show you around Craigslist, okay? So, uh, let's click admin slash office and then mangita ta o job ad diri guys na pwede na tong apply ah so kanin ah uh, general virtual assistant okay so mo ni siya ang job ad ni client so ang ilang requirement we only accept Filipino applicant so mo ni siya ang things na imo ang i-prepare so Awa na yung updated CV. And then, Skype ID. It's important na siya guys for interview. So, uh, pag-create na lang mo daan account sa Skype. And then, ang qualifications na rin ha. And then, normally, kanin sa compensation, makita rin ninyo diri kung pila ang sweldo, unta, normally. But, in this case, wala nila di butang. So, it has to be discussed. So, as soon as makasend ka o application, ani nga client, uh, mo reply na sila ni mo with the rate or pwede sa ginig interview na kanila sotihan kong sila. So, it says ang employment type is part-time. So, ang part-time pwede na siya nga 4 to 6 hours a day or depende lagi na sa requires sa client. So, para maka-apply mo, you see this button? Can you reply? So, just click this button and then you can reply, gamit ani nga link or via Gmail, Yahoo Mail. In my case, ganahan ko sa Gmail. Kay, nakalagay naman ko ang akong email account daan. So, whenever I click Gmail, o, oh, ba? automatic should rin nga, mo create, I mean, yeah, automatic siya na morale din ni. So, maghimo na lang ka sa imuhang content sa imuhang email, like you can say, Hi, I saw your job ad on Craigslist, blah, blah, blah. I'm interested with the position. And then, all you have to do is attach your resume here. And then, your cover letter. And if you have a portfolio or anything, so, i-attach na diha po na nimo and then you click send. So, as soon as I send na ninyo in your application, just wait for the client's response and then go from there. Okay? So, that's how you send applications via Craigslist. Now that you know how to apply on Craigslist, move to sa onlinejobs.ph Again guys, that's onlinejobs.ph Okay. So, maunin siya guys. Okay. So, as you can see, kani current job posts, na din ha ang mga categories, no? Sa mga uh, trabaho nga available. But, in order for you to apply, kinahanglan usa ka mo sign up. Or, kung na kay account, you can log in. So, ako na naman ko yung account, makalog in ako directly. But, in your case, kung wala pa mo yung account, just click this button that says sign up. And then, select, I want to work. And then, just key in your full name, your active email address, your password. And then, you check these boxes. And then, you click the register button. And as soon as mo click na na ninyo, ma-route mo sa laing na page na na ano mo yung account sa online jobs, i-verify na na ninyo sa inyong email. And then, na na siya steps, guys. Actually, clear ka ayo ang iyahang steps. So, there's no need for me to explain na yun. Okay? So, mo na na siya. And then, after signing up, so, na na, logged in ka sa account. So, I will show you what it looks like. So, mo log in sa ako, guys. Okay. 
Okay. So, as soon as you're logged in, marawag mo sa inyong profile. So, mo ni siya inyong account. Okay. Ayan. Ito wala lang ka mo gamay, guys, ha? Pero, at least, pero ni siya. Okay. So, if you wanna go ahead and apply, just click this button. Kani siya, kanin job board. And then, scroll down. So, kanina ali ni sa babaw, guys, mo ni siya ang mga newest job ads na yung pang-post. But, kung di mo interesado ani nila, just scroll down. And then, look for the categories. So, nana din ni, so, office and admin. So, depende sa inyong skill set, i-click ang category. So, in my case, ibuta na to sa customer service ba ko. So, I'll go to customer service and then, I'll pick a job post na okay pa rin ako. So, hindi pa sa. Okay. So, kani. Customer service representative. Okay. So, type of work, guys. Full-time na siya. So, normally, ang full-time is 7.5 hours a day a day or 8 hours a day, 40 hours a week. So, muna siya full-time, guys, para sa mga uh, international-based clients. And then, salary, so, nadre $600 per month. So, approximately, mga 30000 na siya. So, guys, kaming ID proof, bale, mo din siya, guys, kanang ini-create bitaw din mo sa account, you will be required to scan a valid ID. So, kung mag-scan ka o imuhang SSS ID or driver's license, kana siya mo taas din ang imuhang ID proof score. Pero sa ako, ah, 64 or din ko po ito, guys, kay police clearance so muna kong deposit. But anyway, so maka-apply ako, ani guys, because 50 naman ang yung require na ID proof score. So, maon ni ang job description. So, makita rin nyo dito. Basaka lang dito nyo maayo, guys. And then, if you feel like ikaw ni ang ilang ipangita, so, just hit this button. I mean, apply for this job. And then, marap maglaing na page. So, naka-autofill na na ang full name, ang sa email, and then subject. Pwede rin nyo butangan o application for customer service representative position. Or, kung naapay mas nindot ng title, go ahead. And then, sa imuang message, ibutang na ni mo diha kung anong gusto ka mo apply, things like that. And then, sa contact info, naka-autofill na sa na diha na imuang name, imuang phone number, Skype, and email ad. So, when you're done, just hit this button that says send email. And, ini-press na ni mo ana. Again, just like Craigslist, just wait for the client's response. Um, musood na siya sa imuang inbox, guys, diri sa account, yung sa online jobs. And maka-resume sa ka og email. Nga, same ba sa daog content sa response sa client. And then, sa online jobs, you can only send 10 applications per day. So, ayaw mo pataka o send, guys. Dapat kung unsa ang tanaw ninyo nga para inyo, ha, mora dito siya yung inihang up na yan. Okay? So, nag-get rin ninyo, guys. I'm sure nasabutan rin dito ninyo tanan, guys. Yung mabright bit ang tanan. Anyway, Nako jay lain, nako jay ikatulo. So, after Craigslist and online jobs, nako jay Upwork. Okay, I don't know if you've heard about it, but, yeah, I think popular ang Upwork. So, uban nga freelancers. So, let's just type in Upwork.com and then mauni siya ang ilangang site. So, bag-una siya, guys. Karong pa ko kita niya balik, actually. Because... Ani mo hindi siya, guys? Nag-create ko Upwork account last year. Okay. And, na-deny siya. Wala ma-approve ang ako ang account because ang ako ang skill set is kanang dagat pa bitaw sila members na same na ko ang skill set na wala pa na-hire. So, wala pa room for me sa Upwork. That's why na-deny ako ang application and pasend lang lang ako balik after a few months. And so, marami Okay, if you don't want me, fine. So, wala na dyan ko nag-ibalik sa Upwork. But, 
about 10 years ago, mga 2009, 2010, na ako'y account sa ODES. So, ODES pa man siya before, but katong nag-merge ng ODES ng ilan, wala na. Wala na ako nag-home base mo ato kayo. Balik ko sa um, IT Park ako na work. Okay. So, since naan na kayo dito din sa upwork, now I'm gonna show you around. So, same with online jobs. If you scroll down, makita niyo ang mga categories. But in order for you to apply, pinahanglan niya kung ka mo login or mo sign up. So, kay wala naman kuy account ani guys sa kaning Upwork kay wala na gi-delete na to nila ako ang account sa Odes kung man nila siguro gi transfer sa Upwork automatically so ari ta sa login but before that okay para sa mga first timer sa Upwork you click sign up and then mara gi hapon you key in your first name your last name and your email address and then kani nga button sign me up. I'm not sure asa ni siya morale kay dito ko interesado aning upwork because para na ko hasulan ko. But mao ni siya. This is how it looks like. And then I'm sure na once you click sign me up, na diha ko na sila instructions diha guys na clear ra sad siguro nga masabtan na natong tanan. Okay. So now kay law mo gid mo guys. So, mo log in ta sa upper. I'm gonna use my husband's logins. Okay. Para lang mapakita na ko ninyo. O, kung sa'yo itsura. Sa upper. Uy. Wait lang pa sa may guys. Okay, finally. Maoni siya, guys. This is how it looks like. So, as of now, kita lang mo, you know, we've reviewed your profile. Nasa yung matatay niya ang for your area of expertise. Resubmit profile. Okay. So, pinahangalan pa rin niya i-edit ang iyahang profile and then i-resubmit and then i-review na sa nasa upwork and mag-wait pa sa dito mga I don't know, mga three business days. So, for the sake lang, for, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna show you around of work. So, mo ni ang imuhang profile para lang makakita mo kung asa ang mga job ads kibutang alira mo sa find work. Okay? After din yun na i-click ang mga job ads sa mga client na na diha galing niya ratan. Okay? So, para lang at least nakakita mo kung unsay itsura sa Upwork on the inside. Tomorrow na siya, guys. Ang hindi mo kung ako ganahan sa Upwork is um, na sila yung kanibitaw mga connects. I'm not sure how it works, pero daghang nagreklamo about Ana. And then, apart from that, ang cut mangod nila sa inyong sweldo is 20%. Okay? So, that's 20% of your hard-earned money and sakit kay na para na ko, guys. Let's say, for example, if you're earning $800, so, ang ilaha ana is 20%. So, $800 a month sa so mga nananas, mga points a meal. Diba? And ilaha ana 20%. So, 20% of $800 is $160. So, $160. Pila na na siya, guys? That's $8,000. Oh, my God. So, that's $8,000 minus your $40,000. So, you're left with $32,000. Sakit kay na para na ko, guys. My God. Di pwede. Wala, wala dito ko nahangol sa upwork, guys. Okay, ilahan na. Okay. So, now, ngayon na may idea on how to apply and how to get started. Well, congratulations! But before I end this video, ma-answer sa ako mga FAQs, okay? Because I'm pretty sure that you have a lot of questions. So, first question. Pila ang sweldo? So, guys, kanang sweldo mag-depende rin na siya. Most of the time, ang um, rate per hour, makita rin na ninyo sa job post sa client. So, kamo na lang may kwenta-kwenta o pilain yung sweldo, i-multiply lang na siya sa number of hours that require sa client. Okay? So, second question. How will I get my pay? Kung saan na po pagkuha sa akong sweldo? So, ano ni siya, guys? Depende lagi ako na siya. Because there are multiple ways on how to get paid. But, Ang pinaka-common jud is PayPal, 
uh, na I remit me, na I transfer wise, or if you want direct bank transfer or cash pick up. But sa ako ah, guys, ang pinak common sa ako ah, is ang PayPal. So I just want to show you what it looks like, okay? Kay moment siya ang commonly used na payment method. Okay, so let's just type in PayPal. Nakadumog naman siguro mo ani guys, no? Pero money siya, PayPal. So this is how it looks like. So kung na mo yung PayPal daan, login lang mo. But if wala pa, you have to click this button and you sign up now. So in our case guys, since we're working from home, ang atong iselect is can you receive payment to PayPal. And then click next. And then, i-enter lang ninyo ang inyong email address. So, you just have to make sure na secured ang inyong email address kay it involves money naman good. And since dagha na ka yung scammers ro, dagha na kayong mga hackers, so you should put in a secured email address. So, dili na lang ako i-show guys ha o kung saan kay nalang ako yung existing na PayPal account. Pero after ninyo i-key in ang inyong email address and i-click ninyo ang next, ang PayPal mo provide ready ako na siya o step-by-step nga process on how to successfully create your account and clear as a guy ang ilang instructions na sub-done rajid na itong talang guys as in. And since nakisgot naman yung pag-swelgo, payment method, PayPal, so you might wanna ask, from PayPal, ang saan na mo pagkuha ang amo ang kwarta? Diba? It's a very logical question. So, ano ni siya, guys? As soon as ma-create na mong PayPal account, ini mo mag na siyang i-verify. So, for you to verify your PayPal account, hinahalan mo mag-link o debit card sa inyong PayPal account. So, um, para na ko, ang uh, recommended na ko na uh, debit card for you to use is ang iyon. Kaya siya, sa union ni ninyo siya makuha so, in my case, oh, actually guys, kani siya, dili ni siya ako. Ah. So, ako, ani siyang husband. So, dito siya sa Union Bank, and then, ni-apply siya, buy a check 350 pesos, nag-wait me one month, usap pa na-release ang card. Oh, um, I need to correct myself. Ang 350 DI, guys, gibayaran niya pagkuha na sa card. So, initially, pag-apply niya sa Eon, wala dyan siya ni bayad, guys, zero. So, all you need to do is ma-present lang ka og two valid IDs para maka-request ka o kaling iyon yung card. And then, pag receive na mo ang card, i-link din mo siya sa imuhang PayPal account. So, i-enter lang mo imong uh, account number sa imuhang PayPal. Muna siya, guys, sa kinahanglan, secured good ang email address ng imuhang gamiton sa PayPal. Kay gamay sa yuk, guys, ang hackers run there everywhere. Okay, and since nag-involve mani siya ug kwarta, so kinahanglan secured yun. So mani siya i-link na ni siya nimo, and then as soon as mag-send na si client sa imong sweldo, let's say uh, sa first week nimo ni earn ka $150. So mag-send na, na siya sa PayPal and then i-check nimo sa imong account, nga na diha ang imong kwarta, imo ra nang i-withdraw. So ini-withdraw nimo ana ang card na nakalink sa imong PayPal, usara man jud na mo, mo ra man siya imong iyon nga card. So, imong i-transfer ang imong kwarta gikan sa PayPal sa imong iyon. And then ang good thing lang din iyon guys, is automatic na man gud siya. Di na pareha sa una nga um mo take pa siya og 3 business days para makuha nimo ang kwarta. Pero karon guys, automatic na siya. Igsud sa PayPal, transfer sa iyon, withdraw da yon sa ATM. So, yung ana siya ka convenient, guys. That's why, daghang mo pili sa PayPal na payment method. Okay. Ha! Ah, Taasa sa kong tuba, guys. Uy, ipaninot ko. Grabe! Good. Okay, so moving on. Third question. How will I know kung scam or legit ang job post ni client? So, guys, there's no concrete way of knowing if the job post is scam or legit. So you just have to go with your gut. Just trust your gut. Kay, if you see that the rate is too good to be true, then 
most likely scam na siya. And if you read somewhere on the post na you need to uh, deposit a certain amount of money, kay security deposit daw, kay uh, required daw sa company, most likely guys, scam ni hapon na siya. So, you better be careful. Okay? The fourth question, what if naka-start na ka-work and then suddenly nawa si client? So, makuha pa ba nimo ang imuhang sweldo? So, guys, ano ni siya? If that happens, if dili na dyan mong patimaw ang imuhang client, guys, say goodbye to your sweldo na lang dyan. Kay wala na dyan na siya. Di na dyan na siya. So, you better move on. Okay? So guys, I know nga na kung may daghang pamutana. So if you have more questions, please, please don't hesitate to comment down below. Okay? And just a piece of advice, guys. Please, please do not undervalue yourself. Okay? If you think that your output is worth 5 or $6 an hour, then go for it. Barabi dyan na siya, guys. Ayaw mong sugot ng baraton mo sa client. Okay? But if you are someone na nagsugod pa, um, if you don't have work experience just yet, so, wala dyan problema, guys, if you start small. Okay? Kahit makita ka naman sa client, eventually, ang mong mga palintamo. Okay? So, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. And please, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on my next video. Bye!